The total amount of charge in coulombs that has entered a wire at time t is given by the function q equals a times t minus bt squared, where a is equal to 4 coulombs per second, b is equal to 1 coulomb per second squared, t is in seconds, and t is greater than or equal to 0. Let's find an expression for the current in the wire at time t, and then let's graph the current versus t for the interval from t goes from 0 to 4 seconds. So let's begin by recognizing that our charge is a function of time. So charge as a function of time is given as at minus bt squared. Now we have the constants of a is equal to 4 coulombs per second and b is equal to 1 coulomb per second squared. Our goal is to find an expression for the current in the wire at time t. Well, remember, current is equal to the time rate of change of charge. For this problem, then, since we have charge as a function of time, we just have to differentiate our function. The function is that charge is equal to at minus bt squared. Differentiating this, we get charge, we get that the current is equal to the derivative of at with respect to time, which is a, minus the derivative of bt squared with respect to time, which is 2bt. Notice here that we see that current is a linear function of time, where if we were to plot this on a current versus time coordinate system, A corresponds to the current intercept. So that will be the intercept along our vertical axis. And the slope is a negative slope. So the minus 2b corresponds to a negative slope. And this t to the first power says that current is linear. So what I, could, what I could expect from this is since current is a linear function of time, when we graph this, I would imagine that the current is going to start off at some positive value and end up going down to, uh, and end up getting closer and closer to zero, if not zero. So let's go ahead and plug in numbers and see what we have, and then we can use this to graph. So if we were to graph this, we have current on the vertical axis, time on the horizontal axis, and I'm still in terms of variables, so this is going to be an arbitrary graph. We know we're going from t equals 0 to 4 seconds. Our current intercept is somewhere up here, which I'll call A. And we know that we are going to have a negative slope. So for now, I'll just draw this where it crosses the time axis. I don't know what this time intercept is yet, but we could quickly solve for that. And in fact, let's go ahead and solve for that time intercept. That time intercept occurs for the value of current being equal to zero. So that would mean that a minus 2bt is equal to zero. Solving this for time, we get time is equal to a over 2b. This is our time intercept. And I'll just label this in our coordinate system. A over 2b. Okay, we solve this all in terms of variables. Let's just go ahead and plug in some numbers. So our current is equal to a, which is 4 coulombs per second, minus 2b. b is 1 coulomb per second squared, times t. So 
we have our our current and now we have to graph our current from t equals 0 to 4 seconds well we already know where it is when t equals 0 seconds it's right at the current intercept and we know the value of that current intercept is 4 coulombs per second now let's see what the value of our current is at 4 seconds. So the value of current when t is equal to 4 seconds is equal to 4 coulombs per second minus 2 coulombs per second squared times 4 seconds. So here a second in the numerator cancels with the second in the denominator and we end up with current after 4 seconds is equal to minus 4 coulombs per second. So this is going to adjust our graph a little bit. We started off at 4 coulombs per second of current and we end up with a negative 4 coulombs per second of current. So let's go ahead and re-graph this using this new information. Vertical axis will correspond to current. Horizontal axis corresponds to time. We know we start off at 4 coulombs per second. We know we end at minus 4 coulombs per second. And current is a linear function that's decreasing. And let's go ahead and label this as current is equal to 4 coulombs per second minus 2 coulombs per second squared t. And let's go ahead and indicate where this crosses. So this value, the time intercept, occurs at 2 seconds. So let's interpret this graph. Notice how in this graph we start off with a positive current. So between 0 and 2 seconds we have a positive current, but between 2 and 4 seconds we have a negative current. So there is a point in which the current changed direction. Now that changing direction implies that the current was initially moving in one direction, but as it's moving in one direction, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller in magnitude until for a brief instant at t equals 2 seconds, there's no current. And then the current reverses direction, getting larger and larger linearly in the opposite direction.